Here we have a GraphQL server using GraphQL Yoga and some schema inside of the schema.graphql file. You can also see here that we have not yet implemented some resolvers. And if you're building a front end for this GraphQL server, you kind of have to wait for the back end team to implement those resolvers. Thankfully, with GraphQL tools, we can install the mock package to mock some of the results for our schema. Because GraphQL is built up of types, we can use the introspection results to automatically mock what's returned to us. So if we have a string, integer, boolean, or any other scalar type, we can return some dummy data. We'll be using the GraphQL tools mock package, and we'll need to install this from npm. Once that's installed, let's go ahead and import add mocks to schema from the GraphQL tools mock package we just installed. Then we can assign to the const schema with mocks that function and pass along our schema. We'll not pass it anything else just yet and we'll start that server. Now if we make a request inside of Graphical to fetch all of our users, posts and create a mutation, we'll have some dummy mock data returned to us based on those different scholar types we have inside of our schema. However, you'll probably just want to go a little bit beyond just hello world. Next, let's go ahead and install casual. This will allow us to fake some of the data types we return from the mocked schema. Let's add to the object we pass to add mocks to schema. And here we can define what's returned from the different integer, string, and any other scalar types. Once we start the server, if we now make a request, we'll have something a little bit more than hello world. If we make a query to fetch all of our users, name, email, ID, and age, here we'll get something that looks a little bit different to what we had previously. We can also do the same for our posts. Let's take this a step further by defining what's returned in the mock data for our user type. Here we'll define the custom mock data that's returned for our user type. We'll specify that the ID is of the type UUID from casual, and the name will pick a name from casual as well as the email and the age. We'll also do the same for posts and customize the number of sentences that are returned inside of the content for our posts. Now, if we make a request inside of Graphical, our response will look a little bit different, and this is gonna help us when we implement a front end. With this mock data, we can now begin to start creating our UI for our GraphQL server without worrying about the backend team having to catch up implementing all of the different resolvers, talking to databases, and much more. GraphQL Tools also allows us to mutate things in the store that it has for the mock data, and we'll learn about that in another video.